Hello my amazing sexy mofos, this is your boy Venomy here, I really do hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far. In today's video I am back with another Forza Horizon 5 Dragon Tune video. The car that I'm going to be throwing around today is the Mosla MT900S. But before we start, if you are new around here and like what you see, then please do subscribe to join this amazing sexy family. But now let's jump straight into this. Okay, so when it comes to the upgrades engine swap, we're putting in the 6.5 litre V12. Very powerful engine, one of my favourite. We're also going to be making the car all wheel drive. And of course, you do want to go with that twin turbo option as well. When you've done all of that, back out of all of that, and then come over to tyres and rims. Now, obviously, we're making a drag tune, so drag tyre compound tyres, and you'll want to make the rear tyre width as big as possible. Make the Leave the front tyre width as small as possible, but make the rear tyre width as big as possible. And if you want to, also make the rear track width as big as possible. Now after this, engine parts. This part is easy, we want to make as, this car as powerful as we can, as fast as we can. So you're going to want to put all of these options onto race, just to max the car out, get as much power into it as physically possible. So just put all of those options onto race and then you are good to go. Next, platform and handling race brakes don't go with the roll cage we're going to go with off-road springs and dampers and of course that weight reduction kit you're going to want to put that onto race when you've done that we can move on to the last category which is drivetrain because we did the engine swap leave the transmission stock the drive line put to race and the differential put to race when you've done all of that save all of those upgrades and then we can start on the tuning now for the tune, just every time I change the category from tires to gearing alignment, just pause the video. I usually leave it on that category for about 5 seconds, so if you count about 5 seconds, pause the video. And then obviously unpause it, just let it roll through all the categories. You can just copy all the stats down and then you'll be good to go. If you're looking for the share code however, just skip about 30-40 seconds ahead and then you'll have the share code. There are two um, tunes there, one with the final drive being at a 4 ratio and the other being at 3.4 I believe, uh, it's either 3.35 or 3.4, um, massive massive difference, uh, I, I kid you not, just uh, with the final drive being adjusted there. But you're going to see two tunes on your screen in a second, I'd recommend the first one. It's got a little bit more final drive, a little bit more acceleration, so it gets you going a little bit quicker. But play with both of them and let me know what you think of them. But when it comes to talking about the actual car, uh, let me catch my breath there for a second. Um, it's amazing. It is definitely, I wouldn't say a sleeper, it's obviously a supercar, hypercar. It's insanely fast, it is naturally going to be insanely fast. Um, would I say it would be sleepers anything like that yes this thing will annihilate sleepers it will annihilate most things when it comes to the jesco's rtr's copo camaro on the other hand those little things it's debatable obviously depending on the if they've tuned it correctly and it's an experienced driver loads of those little things can obviously affect your chances of winning slash losing so if it's a really good tune but a crap driver then yes, most likely this this Mosler, Mosler, you could absolutely destroy them because this thing's got the acceleration behind it. But if it's an experienced driver, then most likely not. If they know their gearing and everything like that, then most likely it's going to be a nice challenge for you. But anything like a sleeper or mediocre cars, average cars, this thing just annihilates. It is so goddamn fast. Um, I would be interested to try it with, I noticed it does have quite a lot of engine swaps, so I would like to experiment with this car a little bit more, definitely see if I can actually 
not say get a better time because I do love this engine. This engine is absolutely perfect for the car. It doesn't really need much else, but I would like to experiment with some of the other engines just to see if they are indeed m at least matching with this car. Um, because this thing performs insanely, like insanely great. I, I just I have no faults for it. Um, I took about a week's break off YouTube just with obviously Christmas being hectic and busy and everything like that. I came back and this was the first car that everyone was asking me to try out and everything like that. And the second I got in it, even when it's non-upgraded, I had a grin on my face. After I fully upgraded it and started playing around with it, fiddling with it, it, the grin on my face just kept getting bigger and bigger. I absolutely fell in love with it. It is a great, great car. Definitely got swept under the rug, definitely. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of these driving around at all, so I get the feeling it was one of those cars that was maybe going to get tried out a lot, but maybe the RTR or the Diablo GTR, the reputation of that came up and Obviously, like some some of the cars in the game, some people still haven't really tried and experimented with. I feel this is one of those cars that it kind of just got swept under the rug. So definitely pull that rug off this car and give it a try. But I'm going to wrap this video up here. I really do hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far. I really do hope you're having an amazing day. Check the description out. I've got all my sponsor links down there. I have sorted out my memberships for my channel as well. So if you feel like supporting the channel, feel free to have a little look. No pressure. You don't have to. It's just a, a little way of supporting the channel. But I'm going to wrap this video up here. I really do hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far. But I love every single one of you, and I'll see you all in the next video.